Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today, we're continuing on our hotel resort tour series at the Barcelo Maya Grand Resort. And we're here today at the Barcelo Maya Beach. We're gonna take a bit of a tour through this hotel, show you guys what it's all about. We're gonna see the pools, we're gonna see the beach. We're gonna take a look at the restaurant offerings and food offerings here. We'll look at the lobby, lobby bar. So without further ado, let's head inside. First thing I like to see about this hotel is this nice little Mayan statue here right at the front. I don't know sort of like what he's representing, but I just think it's totally cool. The statue and all the different details in it. They've got all kinds of flags here outside the hotel. I don't know if you can see your flag. If you saw your flag, you can put it down in the comments below. And then there's some more flags over here too. Here's the uh, hotel sign we always try to find. We got Hotel Barcelo Maya Beach. It's right on the front. And then it's actually shown just over here and here just to make sure you know you're in the right place. So we're coming up on the driveway here. This is the front of the hotel where you'd be dropped off by your airport transportation. If you look over this way through the parking lot here, you're gonna find the twin sister resort, the Maya Caribe. Just down from there is going to be the Maya Tropical and Maya Colonial. And uh, you can actually visit all three of those hotels while staying here. I'm gonna show you a little map just to kind of give you a little reference as to where things are. So we're here right at this spot at the Maya Beach. You can visit the uh, sister, twin sister hotel here and use all the amenities about all these hotels. You can also travel all the way down here to Tropical and Colonial and use all the amenities and restaurants at these hotels too. I'll let you check out these respective hotels uh, in the other videos we've done and I'll put those down in the description once we get them up on YouTube. So swinging over this way, again this is like the driveway where you would be dropped off actually right here. There's always like a bell staff member over here just to help you with your luggage when you arrive and direct you over to the front desk. So they're just kind of standing out here usually and they always deserve tips for their hard work. Just a little landmarking once we get in here, I'll kind of show you the front lobby here, but it's really, really nice. I love this kind of like Mayan kind of feel they got here. It's a little bit darker in this lobby compared to some of the other lobbies we've seen on, on property, but it's got its own little character to it too. Down this hallway is going to be guest services and vacaciones Barcelo. Barcelo. And that's where you can book some excursions. Just past here is the front desk, which we'll visit in just a second. Through here is the shops. Around the corner is going to be the uh, first a la carte restaurant, the Mexican restaurant. And then just down from that is going to be the lobby bar. And further on from that is going to be our access to where our guest rooms and the rest of the resort is. So let's start by uh, kind of looking over here. We'll look at the uh, nice little wall sculptures here. These are all lit up really nicely with Lots of Mayan decor. And then here's the front desk right here. It's a little bit busy right now, but once you come and check in, the, res uh, the staff here will be very, help very helpful for you getting to your room and answering any questions you have. If we kind of wrap around this way, we can see the access to Vac Vacaciones Barcelo right here, where you can book excursions for your stay. And then finally, guest services just down here too to help you booking any a la carte restaurants or any, anything else you want to ask on your stay here. So before we head down into the rest of the lobby, take a look at these sculptures, holy cow. Lots of seating throughout the lobby to kind of rest when you come in or just hang out in the evening time. This is a great spot to just kind of chill. We look over this way, we can see the gift shop here located at the resort. There's lots of stuff in this gift shop. It's actually a very big gift shop. But I just want to swing around this way and show you that there's actually like a luggage scale here to measure your luggage before you head to the airport to make sure everything checks out for your flight. Pop in here a little bit so you can see it. So you can kind of see all the different stuff up in here like clothing, t-shirts, and then we have like any kind of toiletries, sunscreens, all those kind of things you may have run out on or run out of or forgot on your trip. You can get them here. Beach bags and then there's some like drinkware for your drinks here at the hotel. Even like little plushies for souvenirs. Over here is uh, some meeting rooms. So if you're here on business, this might be where you're coming. If not, um, you probably don't need to concern yourself too much with these meeting rooms here. Just across from the meeting rooms, there is some um, ATMs to get some US and some pesos. US dollars or pesos. There's some really nice music playing in the background here. Here's the washrooms located in the lobby in case you were on a long drive in. And then just in front of me with this really, really nice like wall sculpture or like decoration. Holy cow, that is really nice. Great, great spot for a picture. This is the entrance for Lindo, which is the Mexican a la carte restaurant here on property. I'll put up a QR code so you can get, oh, it's actually right here, I think. Here's the QR code for Lindo if you wanted to scan that and uh, take a look at the 
menu that's offered at this restaurant. Lindo's just behind us. We're heading into the lobby again. Straight ahead is the front desk. If we look over to the right, this is the gift shop and also the main entrance from where we came in and started the tour. Yeah, so we're gonna swing around this way. And before we head this way into all the different uh, rooms and the rest of the resort, we're gonna swing around to the right side of the lobby and just take a quick tour down to see the lobby bar and the premium level lounge. So as we walk down this hallway here, this is just left of the front desk, we can head into the premium level lounge and premium level is an option you can put onto your vacation here and uh, adds a bunch of perks to your stay. You can take a look at all the perks on the Barcella website. One of them is this lounge here. So once you uh, arrive at the hotel, if you're checking in with premium level, this will be where you check in. So just to the left here, you can see some tables set up for some small dining here in the premium lounge. This is the check-in desk and the guest services desk for premium level members. And then over here is a nice like relaxing area, couches and chairs and there's even like a nice little spot to hang out over here with a nice TV. I notice there's even some books here that you can kind of like rent out if you wanted a book to read during your stay. There's also computers here to access the internet in case you needed to get anything from your uh, drop boxes, cloud storage or email. And then there's a small little snack bar here that you can grab some like small refreshments. There's some coffee, there's some beer, there's some uh, spirits here too. You can take a look at all the different spirits offered here. Usually there is some snacks here, but I think they're probably just refreshing it right now, but usually they just have some like pastries, donuts, and some fresh fruit and things like that, so. Okay, so just heading outside of the premium level lounge and hanging to the right here. As you can see, probably from earlier shots of the lobby, there's beautiful fountains outside of the lobby and these walkways, some big seating here too. And if we turn to the right here, this is going to be the lobby bar called Bar Beach. And they, as you can see on this uh, sign here, they have like piano players or pianists that come and play piano on that schedule there. So 7.30 to 8.15, 11.15 to 12 a.m. on uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays inside the lobby bar. And this is open from 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. So coming inside here, we can see there's some beautiful seating here as well. Wow, this is really nice in here. This is the piano inside that the entertainment will play at. And we got a really nice, hello. <laughs> got a really nice bar here too. Usually they have some snacks set up over here. There's some TVs up here that you can get some entertainment at while you're hanging out at the bar. But yeah, beautiful here. This is awesome. Lots of selection here from draft beer. You got Corona and uh, I think Modelo on tap. I'm gonna give you guys a little barcode you could scan to find different drink options here at the hotel. This looks out over some of the gardens and the fountains over here. So if you wanted to grab like a drink in the lobby bar here and hang out beside this window with these fountains, or if you want to go out to the terrace, we're going to show you that in just a second here. There's a terrace out here too. So outside the lobby bar and just hanging to the right, there's a small little walkway to this beautiful terrace. But yeah, this is nice. Look at the seating. They've got these like little uh, rose flower pots. So I think these all probably light up nicely in the evening. This is a beautiful spot to come out and have a drink and relax. We've got the fountains all around with the sound of the water. We've got some nice palm trees. Oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is the place to relax here. So again, we're gonna head back down this hallway and just off to the right side and end up right there. And we're gonna walk down this walkway which leads to the rest of the resort and point a couple things out as we go along. Oh, as I was walking down here, I didn't even see this beautiful beach lobby bar sign on the wall. And as I'm walking back to the lobby, behind me was the premium level lounge and the beach bar, or the beach lobby bar. Uh, over here is just another set of bathrooms, which is just really close to the front desk. The front desk is literally right around this corner right here. All right, so we're at the walkway. This shows us that the uh, restaurant, Buffet Beach, the Kukukan Theater, Swimming pools and the rooms are gonna be down this little walkway here. So let's take a little walk, point things out as we go along. This was the uh, premium level lounge and the uh, beach lobby bar. And we have these beautiful fountains and these sculptures of these flamingos out in the water. And then just to the left of us, we can see big windows which look out over to the buffet here 
at Maya Beach. And as you can see at the moment, because it is only 4.30, the beach buffet restaurant is in between lunch, or sorry, breakfast and dinner. So it is closed, but you do have options to get some food at the snack bar by the pool, which we'll show you in just a few minutes. We also did buffet tours of breakfast and dinner at each of the hotels, including the beach buffet restaurant. And we'll link those down in the description so you can take a look at some of the food offerings here at Maya Beach. So just in summary, you have the beach buffet restaurant and you have the Mexican Lindo restaurant, but also there is um, across just to the left around this corner here, you have access to the uh, Maya Caribe, which has another restaurant, a Spanish restaurant, and it's also very close to Maya Mall, which has a Japanese and Italian restaurant as well. So we're at another crossroad. Wright is going to take us to guest rooms down this way, which we're not going to go down that way. But we did do room tours of the guest rooms here, which we'll link down in the description. Left is the theater and straight ahead is going to be the swimming pools. We'll take a left just to head up this little ramp here and show you Kukulkan Theater. And it's linked up with the same theater that the uh, Maya Caribe guests will share. As we walk in, we can see a bar right here as people are getting ready for the uh, event tonight. Over in here, we can see all kinds of seating. So there's a very big stage. You can see there's like a big lighting rig and sound equipment. So there's probably some pretty cool shows that go on here. And they cycle those shows throughout the evening or throughout the week as well. So the other theater you'll have access to is the one over at Colonial and the Tropical. So if you missed a show, you can maybe catch it over at the uh, sister hotels. All right. so. At the end of the walkway here behind us is like where we just came from by the theater in the lobby. So basically there's like a little fork in the road here. So we have over to the left, we have the Barcelo Maya Caribe. So there's all kinds of amenities over here, which we covered in the other video. So you can take a look at that down in the description. But um, one thing I do want to point out is there's a small splash pad for kids there. And then over here, which is where we're going to be touring, has some other amenities. So just in front of us, we have like a uh, lap pool where you can see some people doing some laps. They actually have the barriers up uh, today. And then uh, just point out kind of like the seating in the pool areas. They have these like uh, pergolas, which you have like some shade above you. There's like little hammocks as well in between the uh, pergolas. And we got these like sun loungers that are scattered throughout the uh, pool deck. The sun loungers are actually very comfy and uh, you can get some towels at the towel exchange hut, which we're gonna try to find here and point out to you. One thing we also wanted to point out too is that um, Barcelo Maya Caribe guests have access to this pool and vice versa. So anything we point out here um, and you see in the other video, especially with the sister resorts, the Tropical and the Colonial, you can actually visit as well. So one thing I wanted to point out is there's a rock climbing wall here, which is kind of a unique thing. There's, we haven't seen that in any of the other resorts. There's a small little uh, volleyball court here and also a basketball court, which I think you're gonna have to play three on three because there's only one basketball net set up right now. Just beyond that is the beach, which we're going to take a look at in just a minute. Here's a better view of the uh, lap pool. And as we kind of head around this way, there's a small, well, I would say for a chess board, it's actually quite large, but there's a uh, chess game here that you can play that's kind of in this little activity area. So we'll take a look at the beach in just a few seconds, but there it is in all its glory. And then heading over this way, we can see there's like a small little shop. Uh, where you can buy some souvenirs and get some like henna tattoos and this is where you can get your towels exchanged there's washrooms here and rent any uh, um, equipment for any of the sports just beyond what we saw so heading into the pool area now we can see there's lots of uh, it's about four about 4 45 right now so it's getting towards the end of the pool day but there's still lots of chairs open uh, lots of shade available Lots of people hanging out in the pool. And then there's a small little kids area right here, like a little splash pad. And as we walk through here, we can see there's quite a big pool area here for this resort. It's a great little pool here for sure. There's like some volleyball going on in the water right now. And as we head over this way, we're gonna get a good look at uh, Captain Morgan, which is the beach or the uh, pool buffet, the lunch buffet over here. So I just came over here to give you guys a better look of the uh, uh, restaurant. This one actually is Rancho Grande. So this is the grill and pool bar at Maya Beach. Captain Morgan is the one that's gonna be offered over at the uh, Barcelo Maya Caribe. So I got those backwards when I was talking to you from the bridge up there. And the uh, pool bar, which is just over here. So we'll get a better view of that if we head up this little bridge right here. Here's a good look at the pool area this way and some of the guest rooms over here and here. 
and then we can see like a small little jacuzzi just down below the beach bar or the pool bar over here swim up and then just on the other side of it is a uh, walk-up pool bar too and then lots and lots of seating here all around the pool we're gonna turn left and head back down towards this back off the bridge here and head towards the beach and this will be the last part of the tour here that we're gonna show you guys and as always if you guys have any questions or comments about the resort um, please just leave them down in the comments we love answering all the questions one thing to mention about the beach we always have these little Mayan warriors guarding the beaches here at Barcelo a couple things to mention on the beach one definitely bring some water shoes just to walk along the beach and in the water as well um, we noticed that like the ground sometimes gets thin with the sand and you kind of like exposes the uh, rocks below since we've been here there's always been lots of seats open on the beach there's no umbrellas but you can get shade from the palm trees above one really awesome thing is we haven't seen anybody selling anything on the beaches there's no one walking around selling jewelry or hats or asking if you want to do any excursions so that's awesome if it's something important to you to kind of be relaxed and left alone on the beach this is awesome this is a great spot i will point out though that just a warning there's a lot of seagrass on the beach today the last time we were here it wasn't this much a couple days ago but over the last couple days it's been coming in in uh in barrels as you can see in front of me here this is something that you can't quite control on your trips um, one day it could be really really clear and the next day it can be really really thick so just kind of you know do your best to kind of manage it as you can but it is the season right now it's june so it is the season for seagrass at the time this video was recorded best thing to do is we always found like going into the facebook groups is always helpful to kind of get some recent pictures or get some advice but this is the reality of it right now there's quite a bit so swimming makes it a little bit like icky if you're kind of sensitive to all the seagrass around but yeah we were in earlier we found kind of like just walking down a little bit on the beach at the maya beach towards that little uh, hut just on the the horizon there not quite down towards the Maya Riviera hotel but that would be a good like spot to enter the beach there kind of where those people are right now that was a good spot to swim but again water shoes are pretty necessary because as you're walking along it'll be sand then you'll just kick a rock so best to protect your feet while you're walking in the sand or in the water but that's going to do it for this hotel tour we hope this video helped you guys lots to offer here at this hotel it's a good kind of uh, entry level and budget friendly hotel for your family um, some good restaurant options it's got some good proximity to some restaurants at the uh, Caribe next door and the Maya Mall if you found this video helpful leave us a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to find out where we're going next